Here we are 3D printing a crossbow uh, bolt holder. And the 3D tool is just putting it on layer by layer. It just takes a little thin piece of a uh, thin bead of uh, molten, molten plastic and it basically lays one, one layer on top of the next. You can see the initials K3D starting to show up. I printed this upside down. You sort of got to start on a very flat edge, whatever the flattest edge is, to try to keep away from using supports. The printer is starting to uh, come around. I got a lot of things lined up, uh, set up, got the firmware, latest firmware in there. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat little tool. You can do some amazing things with it. I'll show you another uh, little vid once this is uh, done. I'll put it on the bow and I'll show you how it fits. Here's a vid showing the part and design. You take dimensions of uh, how big the part can be, and I even put uh, I even put the arrows in there. You know, draw everything up you can. I didn't draw the crossbow itself up. I could have, I guess, but uh, that seemed uh, like it wasn't needed to draw it up. But if you did, if it was critical. It's pretty easy to draw the stuff up. So you can see this is going to hold three arrows. And I will have to modify the crossbow. I need to put a couple holes in it, but it's got a big aluminum rail, so I'm not too worried about it. That's it. I'll show you the part on the on the bow next. Here's the part attached to the crossbow. Came out pretty nice. It fits uh, just pretty much like I thought it would. Uh, I had to put two threaded holes into the crossbow. This is an Excalibur crossbow. It's a recurve. I think they're a really a good bow. So. You know, I can put the I can put the bolts in. They sort of snap in place. Enough for three. I think that's enough for me. And I like this because it holds it in line with the with the crossbow itself. A lot of bolt holders are, uh, you know, they run along the string, which tend to be a little cumbersome to, uh, you know, cart the bow around. So they're a little loose right now. I think I'll have to work on this a little bit more but uh, overall it's uh, not too bad of a deal I'm using mechanical broadheads on this so I don't have to really worry about the size of the broadhead up front and it should be pretty well protected if these things stay in place they're pretty safe uh, the way they are the mechanicals are I, I think they're the way to go for most hunting for the hunting and also the safety part of it so this should be pretty good it doesn't really seem to get in the way back here too much uh, you still should be able to, I'm right handed, so I should be able to work the bow just like always. And, uh, you know, I got three arrows without taking up a lot of space. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.